Hi and welcome to Nursing School Explained. This video goes into the assessment of all 12 cranial nerves. Remember that in the clinical setting, in the acute care setting, we sometimes don't assess the olfactory nerve, but in this video I will show you how to do that as well. Cranial nerve assessment can be kind of nerve-wracking for students sometimes, but if you watch the video and you remember the acronym that I'll discuss in a different video, then it's actually fairly easy once you kind of get used to it. Remember to also know the meaning behind the cranial nerve. So trigeminal, for example, means that it has three branches. So if you remember that, it's easier for you to kind of focus on that when you go in to perform the assessment. Also make sure to watch the other um, sections of the neuro assessment that I have coming up in terms of the sensory and motor and the gait assessment and the cerebellar function. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, cranial num nerve number one is olfactory. So we should have the patient smell something, although sometimes in the acute care setting, this is not really done. So can you occlude your uh, right nostril, please? And close your eyes and tell me what you're smelling. Toothpaste. Okay, now the other side, please. And tell me what you're smelling. Toothpaste. Okay, so that olfactory is intact. Now for optic, we could do the Snellen chart, but in this case, we're, um, we don't have a Snellen chart, so we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna do his Perla. Look straight at the tip of my nose over here. Good, and I'm also checking for consensual light reflex. And then look at the pen right here. And then look at the ceiling over there. Okay, so the pupils accommodate. Now for cranial nerve three, four, and six, we're going to check his extraocular movement. So with just your eyes, follow my pen, please. When you do that, make sure that you go nice and slow and you don't hold the light too close to the patient's eyes because that can get pretty disorienting. Okay, so here we are, three, four, and six. Cranial nerve number five, trigeminal, has three branches on the side of the face. Can I have you turn your head over this way? And the three branches run right here on the forehead, on the cheek, as well as on the jaw. So trigeminal, you can remember it, one, two, and three. And it is a sensory nerve, so we'll assess the sensation. So have you turn your head back over this way. Can you feel me touch you here, and is it the same on both sides? Yeah. And then how about here? The same. And here? The same. Okay, very good. Now, um, show me your teeth. Raise your eyebrows. Puff your cheeks. Okay. Puff your cheeks again and don't let me push them in. Good. Close your eyes real tight, real tight, and don't let me let them open. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to whisper something in your ear and repeat back what I say, please. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and let's see the other side. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Excellent. So that's the acoustic nerve with his hearing, although I have already assessed by just speaking with him and him following my directions. So cranial nerve number nine and 10, glossopharyngeal and vagus nerve can be combined and that is assessing the pharynx and the larynx. So can you swallow for me? Okay, very good. And then we're going to take a look inside your mouth, open up, stick out your tongue and say ah. ah. Okay, keep the tongue out and move it left and right. Okay, very good. So we'll check the tongue movement there. And then we're going to check the spinal accessory muscle, which is cranial nerve number 11. Shrug your shoulders, please. Good. And then turn your head against my hand and the other side. And we'll compare sides here. Okay. And this uh, concludes the cranial nerve assessment. The only other cranial nerve that we haven't really discussed is hypoglossal, which is cranial nerve number 12, and that is the tongue movement and the articulation with the tongue and the swallowing that I've already assessed by speaking with him and having him swallow earlier. 
Thanks for watching this video on the assessment of the cranial nerves. Please also make sure to check the other videos in the physical assessment playlist to get familiar with all the different physical assessments that we perform in nursing. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.